Good morning again, this is Dwayne, and we're doing a series called Good Stuff You Really Ought to Know About Music. And uh, we're focusing on music theory, some things that uh, every piano player and every musician re reads to, needs to know. And uh, you don't always use all these things, but it's good to know what other musicians are doing as well. The more you know, the better, of course. And we took up the, uh, last time we took up the N6 chord. Today I'm going to take a look at uh, diatonic harmony. That word diatonic uh, kind of puzzles some people. It's, it's actually made out of two parts. Dia, D-I-A, like diagonal, uh, means across or through. And tonic, of course, means uh, the tonal center of a key that you're playing in. For example, if you're playing in the key of B flat, say, that's a diatonic scale. It's just the notes of the B flat scale. So if I play chords, made out of just those uh, scale notes, that's a diatonic, uh, those are all diatonic chords, okay? The contrast to that is chromatic harmony, uh, where you use some notes that aren't in the, aren't in the scale. For example, if, I, if I'm in B flat and I want to play that note, that's, that's an augmented chord, but it's also a chromatic harmony, it's not diatonic anymore because it goes out of the key, okay? So in diatonic harmony, we have eight uh, keys, eight notes, but they're always arranged like this, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, okay? No matter what key you're in. So if you're in the key of B, it's still whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, okay? So the tonic chord of the key of C, guess what it is? Of course, it's C, isn't it? It's built on, that's a home base chord. It's tonic. Uh, and that would be a diatonic chord, too. It doesn't happen to be major. That's D minor. If I build a chord on the third degree of the scale, that's E minor. All diatonic, because we're not using any, any notes that aren't in the scale. Uh, that's the four chord, uh, called the subdominant. That's the dominant chord. That's the sub... Uh, median chord and that's a leading tone. Okay, so it's very just a simple concept. The tonic, diatonic, diatonic means you're you're based in a given key and you're only using the notes of that key. Okay, now most songs are made out of both. They're basically diatonic, but they get into uh, chromaticism once in a while too. So that's really all you need to know about that. So thanks for being with me. If you enjoy these little tips, come on over to playpiano.com and. Uh, and sign up for our tips. Oh, one more thing. Uh, diatonic harmony is is used in Western music, and by that I don't mean country Western music. I mean Europe and the Americas. Uh, if you get to the Middle <laughs> Middle East and uh, the Far East, you get into more chromatic kinds of harmonies, and their organizational uh, structure of music is, is different than ours. But anyway, uh, the West has diatonic harmony. Okay, see you tomorrow with another tip like this. Bye-bye for now.